So that is Daniel Yelusinov. But ladies and gentlemen, he will be facing his toughest test to date by far. 37-year-old former world champion Julius Ndongo. He's 5'10 and a half and will enjoy an inch and a half reach advantage over Kazakh Thunder. This one's scheduled for 10 rounds in the welterweight division. Touch him up. What kind of fight do you expect here, Sergio? I think this is going to be a sleeper right here. Not only is uh, Ndongo a, a, a former unified champion, but he's also an Olympian as well. So he's a tall, lanky Riff fighter, ready. very experienced, Riff very com uh, confident. It's going to be a good fight. Yeah, I don't know, Sergio. I mean, all credit to Ndongo for what he's done in his career, but he is a wild and wide puncher who wants to trade with you when you got Ilyusinov, who is a terrific counter puncher. I think he's almost tailor-made what El Yelusinov can do. But it's Southpaw versus Southpaw, and, and left-handers, you know, they, they, they don't like fighting each other. They like have, having the advantage. We asked Yelusinov how he feels about it. He loves it. When an orthodox fighter is fighting a Southpaw, there's that front foot game. What's the game when it's two Southpaws? I have no idea. I'm not a Southpaw. <laughs> but it's like fighting each other. Usually they have the advantage. It's so a, It's a mirror fight. It's a mirror fight. It's very, uh, you know, they don't have the advantage, advantage anymore. Add the inactivity that Yelusinov Yel has, so that's another Ooh, thing. That was a slapping punch from Ndongo, who stumbled backwards a little bit. It's kind of what Ndongo does. Is he ran into a few counter shots against Terrence Crawford when Crawford knocked him down twice on his way to knocking out. His last two losses, he's been knocked down a total of six times in those fights, so he goes down a lot. Going back to the, the left-hander versus left-hander, you know, uh, they're not used to seeing too many southpaws. Even though Yela Yusinov has so many fights and, and he's uh, experienced on the Olympic level, he has, and Dongo hasn't. And Dongo's nickname is the Blue Machine. You can see it on his trunks. We asked him where that nickname come, came from, and he said when he fought in the national team in Namibia, when the catering wouldn't come, <laughs> he was one of the few guys that had a car, so he jumped in his blue car. Oh, a big left hand from Yelusinov. Sends Ndongo down. Four, five, six, Todd, seven, this is what I'm talking about. Ndongo we'll goes in. Walk he's wild. He throws wide punches. Bucks. Yelusinov is built for this type of fighter. Yelusinov rolled with that with, the, with his shoulder and came back with a nice left uppercut. And he swings wild again and gets caught with a left hand. Ndongo will go down swinging, that's for sure. I love that from Yela Yusinov. Normally, we were used to see him get angles with his feet. Right there, he just stood in the pocket and rolled with that shot. Look how composed Daniel Yela Yusinov is. He looks like the veteran at 29. Well, remember, too, Yela Yusinov is the established welterweight, whereas Dongo's success mostly came at 140 pounds. And to finish that story, he would jump in his blue car and bring the food to the other fighters, and they would say, here comes the blue machine. But right now, the blue machine is malfunctioning here in round one. Yellow Yusinov looks sharp, laser sharp with that left hand. You could see Ndongo kind of blink his eyes and open up as if to say, man, I got to wake up here or I'm going to get blitzed. That was a sniper-like first round for Yellow Yusinov. Kind of like Floyd Mayweather came back with that left uppercut nicely. That wasn't even a full rear back and fire shot from Yellow Yusinov, just a short little left hand on the inside and it put Ndongo down. But Ndongo just leaves himself so exposed with these wide punches that if Yellow Yusinov can just keep it disciplined, he can land big shots like that. Uh, Chris, I was going to ask you who won round one, but I decided not to. Good call. Well, Ndongo will make this fight exciting. Win, lose, or draw. I like the way Yellow Yusinov is staying more uh, uh, stationary now. Before, he was always bouncing on his feet, getting angles, switching from lefty to righty. Now he's a little bit more composed. You know, he's more of a professional fighter now, rolling with his upper body and not really shifting his feet as much. He settled down his foundation, which gives him more power. You would think this would be kind of a last hurrah for Ndongo if he can't win this one at the age of 35 with spectacular losses, as Chris Mannix mentioned. Once Terrence Crawford, I was there ringside for that one. 
in Omaha, Nebraska. Yeah, Crawford knocked out and don't go with a with a body shot to the liver, and then we just progray. Whoa, and he's down again for a second time. Four, five, six. Chopping left seven, hand to the back of the ear of eight, a dongo. Nine. Normally those you. take away your he equilibrium. Like he to fight. He's, he's calling it off, he's waving it off, and Ndongo says no more. Kazakh Thunder picking up his sixth knockout. He is now 10 and 0, oh, and uh, what a dominating yeah. performance, Chris Mannix. This guy seems to be ready for the next level. Look, it's a terrific like name you. to add to your resume, a former unified world champion and the perfect opponent for Yel Yusinov. And Dongo, look, he won titles. We give him credit for that, but he won by fighting a non-puncher in Ricky Burns, and he won with a one-punch knockout over in Russia against Edward Troyanovsky. So there was vulnerabilities there. Thank you. You're doing a wrap yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes to you. A minute 24, round number two, for your winner by TKO and crowned the new IBF Intercontinental Walter Wade Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, still undefeated, Kazakh Thunder, Taliyar Yeli Husana. Do, do you give an a, him an A plus, Sergio? For this absolutely, performance? no, absolutely. He was laser sharp. You know, he knocked down a, a, a two-time champion, a unified champion, a, a fighter that just been knocked out by champions. And uh, now you could add Yel Yusinov to that list.